Hi, I am Dr. Vinita. I am a senior consultant in Cloudline Hospital, High Tech City branch in Hyderabad. Pain can be a big problem or a challenging problem for some women after cesarean, and many will be very scared to go through a cesarean only because they are scared of the pain. So, what can we do to try and make sure that women are prepared? Delivery pain will also be very painful, but now we have so many pain relief options that are available like gas and air, injections, epidurals. So cesarean is also like comes with various options and better prepared you are, better you can tolerate the pain. So you know your options but you be prepared. So what are the options we have? Cesarean most of the time will be done under anesthetic that is a spinal injection, injection at the back or epidural if you have in labor that will be topped up for a cesarean section. The effect can be there for the next three to four hours if it is a spine. But if you have an epidural, we can even top up for the whole day also if required. So when the anesthesia effect wears off, first thing is you can feel the sensation in the legs and so is the pain at the scar. So most of the time you've seen that as a burning pain. So if you have a cut when you're cutting vegetables, it's a small one, but that is when any water falls on that or something, you feel a burning pain. Very similar pain you also feel at the scar area and that can a little extreme. So when you feel that pain, we usually say regular painkillers will be prescribed because we know most of the time you'll have pain. So don't say no to any regular painkiller at least during the first two or three days. That first few will be injections. Like we connect in the drips so it will be faster and most effective. First 24 hours if you have epidural that will be topped up. Otherwise injections will be given for pain relief. Very soon we ask you to get up and move. This will help in faster recovery. So we'll try and remove as all the tubes so you can be a little free when you can feed the baby. Early mobilization will go a long way in pain reduction the first recovery day or the second post-operative day because when we don't move on the first day or the second day, all the gas also will get accumulated in the gut. So because gravity and movement will help the gas to flow in the intestines and that is how the gas escapes and that will not happen when you are lying down for a long time and you are not eating and drinking properly on the day of the surgery and immediately after so that will cause a lot of inconvenience so early getting up and walking and hydrating yourself first we will give fluids but we later ask you to drink plenty these two will help you to manage your pain better from the second post-operative day itself. So what can you do in the second day and third day? So getting easy with your walking, feeding, these are the things what you can do. And taking painkiller as a tablet. Now that you can eat better and drink normally, you can take painkiller as tablets. And you are getting prepared for a discharge by third day. So when you are able to eat, when you are able to go past urine, when you are passing motion, you are fine and you can be confident to go home. After going home, not take it easy for a very long time, but in between getting up and movement is the one that you have to practice in the first week. So getting comfortable. Don't think that no movement should be allowed where there is a scar. Some people are so scared they will not turn. It is not because of the pain they are worried. They are worried that something will happen inside and everything will fall apart. No, don't worry about anything like that because it's the stitches that you will have, they are strong enough to hold things in place. So you can be a little free to turn on the other side, but you might experience a little more pain when you try to adjust your positions and turning on side to side. That with painkillers and with confidence that nothing will happen inside, you'll be able to overcome that. And always make sure that if by taking painkillers, your pain is not relieved, call your doctor or the emergency and get more pain relief. And that is how you can combat the pain better and recover quicker and better. And hopefully within five, six days, you don't need painkillers routinely unless you have any problems and you'll be able to do your normal work Taking care of baby, that you will be able to do it confidently within a week. And second week is all about your routine to be adjusted so very nicely without having much pain. And after that, almost from third week, it's only about adjusting for the night shifts and everything with the baby. But you almost will forget about 
the pain some women will have this pain all the time it is not a textbook policy everyone will have pain only till then some can be bothered with numbness or loss of sensation in the scar area which might take a very long time almost 3 months to completely come back to normal if your doctor reassures you that there is no problem there is no infection wait for all that 3 months to settle down there will be discomforts and small inconveniences but most of the time you'll be able to come out with not much discomfort